and gals. Uh, I'm going to work on the house again today, and I wanted to just first off say thank you to everybody who's tried to help me with this uh, van issue that I'm having with my acceleration. Uh, I looked for a vacuum leak all day yesterday. I couldn't find anything, and you know, everything appears to be uh, in order as far as the vacuum goes. So now I'm starting to think that it may be a catalytic converter uh, or something with my distributor, uh, my ignition. I have already changed the coil and the spark plug wires. So I know those are new. I haven't changed the distributor or the uh, ignition module inside the distributor. So maybe I'll try that. But um, I was doing a little research. I think it could be the catalytic converter being clogged up, but I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not a mechanic, so see we'll figure it out uh, one thing I do have you probably can tell uh, a new addition to the van is this flag here and now this is the a mixture of the American flag obviously and the Gadsden flag and it's, I don't know you probably can't read it all but it says uh, don't tread on me and uh, I'm not going to get too political on this channel but you know I I'm a firm believer in the Constitution and your rights that are granted to you by the Constitution. Uh, I don't like big government. I think the government should mind their own business and uh, st stay out of my life daily. But uh, anyways, that's just something I wanted to add to the van. So I bought it and uh, put it in here. You can't really see it from outside. Uh, when you look in the van, it's kind of dark. So anyways, I'm going to go work on the house. and. Uh, I'll get back to you guys later. All right, well, I've got the drywall sanded. And let me kind of show you here. Everything's sanded up nice. Uh, there's a couple spots. There's a spot there and a spot there. Had to put a third coat on. I usually do two coats. The first coat uh, to, to get the tape and mud on there. And then the second coat is like the finished coat. Um, but sometimes you have a, a couple spots you need to touch up. Um, I went ahead and got the crown molding for just the kitchen you know we still have all this to do but I'm in a time crunch with that uh, with the cabinets coming tomorrow so what I'm trying to do today is get the walls and the ceiling primed and painted and the trim painted and put on here's the trim this is just a they call it a number 49 crown uh, it's going up and the reason I'm putting it up first is because there's not a whole lot of room above the cabinets there's only about six inches above the cabinets and it'll be a whole lot easier to put it up before the cabinets go up so some people might say i'm working a little backwards on that but i've done enough of this to know what's a little bit easier might not be in the exact order everybody else does it but that's the way i'm going to do it Just grab my turkey sandwich out of the fridge and I'm gonna sit here eat some lunch I've got a long day ahead we're you know just trying to get this thing done in time for these cabinets has been a nightmare you know I was telling you about my heat and air guy he still hasn't well he hasn't shown back up it's Monday haven't heard from him I'm not gonna call him today he's he might be in my way you know when I'm painting but I'm definitely going to call him tonight and see, you know, what the heck's going on. I'm curious to see what his excuse is now. Um, I'd say he's probably the type of guy that a dog ate his homework, you know, all through school. So, I don't know. Alright, well, I hope this shows up because it's starting to get dark outside. But here's what I got in the uh, kitchen. You can see it looks a little different. The ceiling's painted. I got the wall. It's painted. And I only painted where the cabinet's 
um, aren't going to be. So uh, that's like a light gray color. My wife picked out the color. Sean hates the color. He says we need like a tan color. So I don't know. Uh, I think it looks all right. But we'll see when we get the cabinets in. The cabinets are white. Um, and then the countertops are going to be like a like a white and gray, black speckled quartz type stone, so granite or something, but I think it'll look all right. It's looking a little better in here. Um, I went ahead and painted the trim on the windows there, and then, yeah, everything's just drying, so I'm going to get back at it tomorrow. dark for you to see me or not but uh, that was our mellow mushroom back there I wanted to show you I don't know it's it's kind of strange it's a it's an old coca-cola plant uh, it used to be a bottling facility and the guy bought it and he's been fixing it up making you know you know doing things with it there's a coffee shop in there um, there's a, a brewery in there a local brewery they make beer um, and now there's a mellow mushroom which there's absolutely no parking uh, for that place so I don't know how it's gonna work out uh, tonight's the opening night so uh, there were quite a bit of people there uh, apparently they've got like 48 beers on tap uh, I've never been to a mellow mushroom myself I've seen them at other places I've been to but um, I've never eaten there so I'll have to try it out sometime uh, I don't know I guess it's uh, nice to see new things coming to the area but I just I'm worried about the parking what's gonna happen but uh, seems to be doing okay uh, tonight they got quite a few cars over there they were just parking in the the bank parking lot I don't know if the bank is okay with that or not but um, I guess if it's not business hours they'd be fine with it but uh, anyways uh, gonna be hanging cabinets tomorrow I got a lot done today uh, was able to sand the drywall I primed the ceiling I primed the walls I painted the ceiling and then I painted the wall so uh, I'm, I'm happy with what I got done today so tomorrow cabinets are going in so see you in a little while